Coach Corey Wayne, and this is my video coaching newsletter. And the topic of this newsletter is going to be why her texting has tapered off. Got an email here from a viewer. He says, hey, Corey, I've enjoyed watching your videos on YouTube. It's prompted me to buy your book. And I'm not sure if you directly receive these emails, but hopefully you can give me a response. Well, I do get the emails. It just said... Right now, it's going to take me a couple of weeks with the backlog that I've got to get through an email. So if you're sending me a question right now, you're, it's going to take about two or three weeks to hear back from me. But if you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way out is always to book a paid phone coaching session. You can do that by clicking the products tab at the top, top of your screen on my website. So he says, I want to thank you for putting outstanding YouTube videos up there, and I really enjoyed listening to them, and I believe they're very helpful. Well, you're welcome. It's what I do. And I love it. I have a passion for it. That's why I do so many of them. I love helping people. And I love seeing somebody learn from my mistakes and the things that I fucked up when I was younger so they don't have to go through all the same bullshit and the heartache and the heartbreak. And and instead, they can have the kind of relationships that I have now and, and where they're effortless and they're easy and you don't have to do a whole hell of a lot. He says, I've been seeing this woman for about three months, and it seems to have slowed down a little bit. And I was wondering if you could tell me what is the best approach to a woman that tells you she loves you, but doesn't always show you she wants to be with you. I'd say the problem is you're pursuing a little bit too much. You need to back off a little bit and let her come to you more. The best ratio should be 70 to 80% of the calling, texting, and pursuing the initiated initial contact should be done by her and 20% of it by you. And if you've been dating a woman as long, for three months now, at this point, she should be doing almost all of the calling, texting, and pursuing, and you should just be responding to her texts and her messages and stuff by simply setting and arranging your next date. If you're three months into it, you pretty much should be spending all of your time together, but if she's not calling and texting you two or three times a day, then what it means is you just, oh, you've just you over-pursued too much, you've been too easy, too available, and you haven't been mysterious enough because it's a scientific fact that women are more attracted to men whose feelings are unclear. And so what I typically see is that most guys are trying to do too much too soon and it's like they're trying to rush the girl into a relationship. And that's why I found the best approach is just to start out with calling her and taking her out once a week and you stick to that routine where that's where you initiate the contact and ask her out for a date usually by the third week she'll start texting you and calling you in between she won't in other words she won't want to wait until the following week to hear from you she'll text you a couple of days after your last date to say she had a great time or she was thinking about you or she can't wait to see you again whatever it happens to be and then you just simply arrange hey great to hear from you baby i'm thinking about you too i can't wait to see you as well when are you free to get together next and then you just make the next date. You say, great, I'll see you then. I can't. I look forward to it. Can't wait to see you. Got a lot to tell you, a lot to catch up on. You say things like that. It's like, oh, really? What? Oh, he's got a lot to tell me. Oh, my God. I wonder what's he, what he's going to tell me. And then by just throwing that out there, it makes her wonder, gee, what's he been up to? Oh, my God. Must be all kinds of things happening in his life. And she starts talking to her girlfriend. He says, he's got a lot to tell me. I wonder what's been going on. What, what's up in his life? God, it's so exciting. It's mis mysterious. Women love mystery. And so when they, got, when they think about a guy and they wonder about a guy, it's exciting to them. And you're not doing anything. That's the beauty of it. Just by planning dates and being specific and then staying off the phone in between your dates, it allows her to wonder about you and think about you. And it allows her to come to you at her own pace as her feelings and her emotions for you rise slowly over time. But in this particular case, you've been, you've been pushing a little too much and you haven't been chilling out and hanging back enough. And that's why she's basically acting as if you want, you know, like a woman would that you've only been dating for a couple of weeks. It's because the ratio is probably 50 to 60 percent, I would say, meaning you're still doing around 50 to 60 percent of the calling, texting, and pursuing, or maybe she's doing that. You need to, the ideal range is 70 to 80 percent. And, you know, when you've been dating like six months or longer, it's pretty much, you know, the girl's calling you two, three times a day, all all time, every single day. And you're, at that point, you're never initiating contact. You're just always responding to the contact that she initiated just because she feels so comfortable and she loves you so much and she wants you so much and she desires you so much. And you give her that space to let her feelings grow for you. And so when she misses you and she wonders about you or she becomes a little sure, unsure of herself, that's when she reaches out to you to gain some certainty. And so you'll arrange the next get-together. 
So that's all, all you need to do if I were you to get things turned around. You just need to back off a little bit more and get the ratio up to 70 to 80 percent of the calling, texting, and pursuing being initiated by her. So if you have a question you want to ask me, go to my website, click the Contact Me tab, which will be on the left-hand side of your screen, and send me one to two paragraphs max, and just give me several weeks to get back to you with a response. If you want to talk to me right away, the quickest way to get my help, obviously, is to book a paid phone coaching session. You can do that by going to my website, click the Products tab, which will be at the top of your screen, and just follow the instructions. If you want to get a digital version of my Kindle ebook on my website, underneath the email sign-up box, is a box that has a link that will take you right to the Amazon Kindle download page for my book. Once you get there, if you don't have a Kindle device, just download one of their free e-reader apps for whatever electronic device you want to read my ebook on. And if you appreciate the value of the information I offer in these video newsletters, the articles on my website, or my ebook, you can show your appreciation right now by going to my website and on the Wibby toolbar at the bottom of your screen, click the PayPal donate button and donate any amount that you feel is equal to the value of the information. And I will talk to you soon.